Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my character act playthrough, where, well, we are sieging Hellpit, and we're about to forge into the north here, guys. Now, as I've been mentioning, this is pre-recorded, um, last weekend from when you're probably seeing this, I think it will be. Um, now, unfortunately, I was planning on doing a bit more recording this week, but my son's been quite ill, I've been quite ill, so I've not done as much as I had. So because of the DLC, this is probably coming to an end quite soon. I will see if I can continue it afterwards. Um, but it's probably coming to an end within the next few episodes. So I'm going to try and get a few key things. I'm going to try and take here. We are going to try and sail an army down to Ulfwan. Can we get away with it now? Almost. So yeah, we're going to sail an army down to Ulfwan as well to get ourselves a foothold there. And, oh, whoops, I just accidentally went through their territory. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to land here and get ourselves a foothold. And we're going to land up here and hit up here. And they are our, our sort of main aims at the moment, guys. Um, I'm going to buff up Iron Picks Landing first. Let's have a look. And Hotex Column. Mm. Who's this? This is this guy. What do we want? Oh, he can gain some extra training. No, you can actually start working around tactician. Not that you're likely to be used anytime soon. I say that, we're nearly there. Hmm. The issue is that going to get any better easily. I need another building there to really improve that. Um, we'll see, because that is probably still slowly reducing, which will help as well. Now, if you were watching last time, I did start an, a massive war with the Empire. So, basically, the old world is torn in two now. With kind of everything in the north at war with the Empire, as well as Britonia and a few other factions. So, the Empire is quite powerful. It does have a few allies, but at this point, I suspect we're going to win. I'm a little worried by the Dark Elves, but I'm hoping they're not going to stab me in the back, which is probably a foolish thing to hope, but, you know. Uh, no, my main aim now is to get that uh, get that uh, settlement on Ulfwan. We may well get pushed back, as I am just sending a single army there. Um, we'll see. And we're going to land in Hotex Column to start, not Hotex Column, in uh, the Shrine of Cain. Because it's probably going to be the easiest point to hold. Because I can set up lovely little ambushes and things around it. Um, you know, it's got good positions to hit the, the elves from. The thing to remember with the elves is they do have a lot of archers. Though they do lack armor piercing with their archers. So, they're a very different type of force from me. So, we'll have to see how it goes. I'm sorry if I do sound a bit all um, bunged up. I am all a bit bunged up, so uh, that would be why. I've had a horrible, as mentioned, I've, I've, I've had a horrible, horrible cold, coldy, fluy thing, as has my son, so um, it's not been a great week for doing recording. I do apologise, but I've been a bit ran, a bit, bit off. Oh, so they sent reinforcements, which may stop our invasion, but I, I can get a peace treaty with them. I'm actually more than happy to leave them with a peace treaty. Hmm. I'm getting that. My glacial majesty, Katarina, did you welcome? You can Kisar. send some reinforcements, and if you can send some reinforcements, that will actually really help. 
Well, I don't know if they actually do ever send reinforcements to sieges, but we can see. Time for subtlety, guys. Let's get the port. Okay. Renier is with us. Oops, I'd forgotten about that. Um, oh, that's not too bad an army. Um, yep, yeah, let's just go straight for this. I should be able to win this. I've not used these troops before, to be fair. But this entire army pretty much has vanguard deployment. Which is going to... While well, these guys do have armor-piercing ranged, potentially, we are going to completely uh, remove, well, a lot of the benefit of that because we are going to be engaging these guys hard and fast. These guys are a bit more aggressive than the other guys. Um, as I said, they get that they get that vanguard deployment, so they're going to be deployed right forward. With with Ulfar, and we are just going to slam straight into their line from the side, actually. And then my quarrelers are going to come up with these guys. And this is a nice thing about the quarrelers is they're tough enough to actually hold a lot, stand and form a line on their own. Straight down into their sides. And straight forwards. That's what I want to watch out for is that cav. You guys can start actually heading over here to get around behind. back in a second because I don't want to be engaging too much melee. Okay, just pull straight back. Oh no, you guys, you guys stay down in here. Okay, you can stay with these guys, you can charge down. Oh, you're still up here. Pulling around the back, slamming in there. And the thing is, actually, we're keeping them nice and um, messed up here, position-wise. So you guys can all go support these guys. No, he can stay holding that. That'll do. We'll shred through them quickly. They are... They're not doing badly, but we are beginning to break a lot of their units up here. This hasn't been the cleanest battle. It's been a bit messy, to be fair. We're going to try and get these guys around the back. That'll do nicely. Let's hit this next unit now. 
You guys can disengage. And no real benefit to that, but hit them. Let's keep chasing these guys to stop them shooting now. Let's protect my runesmith, he's taking a lot of damage there. Let's just chase all of them, we're just cutting through them slowly, my lord's doing fine there, all fire's doing well. We're obliterating all of these guys, oh let's hit finish the rest of that cav. My runesmith is broken, but he's still alive. They're breaking, and that's it! I think that worked quite well. It's not a particularly a bit of a different tactic for us there really using our troops uh, abilities my um i could have done with leaving a few back with my archers to be fair um and what i could probably do is do with a couple of more defensive units to help intercept units around my archers that said my archers are good enough to i mean you saw that they were engaged in combat and managed to hold the lines on their own so they can do that um Though my runesmith did nearly fall, and that, that was a risk which probably wasn't worth taking. But we've got ourselves another port here, which is the main aim here. Um, I'm not necessarily going to pursue this war any further. This was more about getting covering our rear and getting a peace treaty. Um, and if I can do that and build up a defensive gar nice defensive position here, we're fairly safe. So, hmm... But no, these guys are interesting because they're also a bit quicker, which means they can get involved quicker. I did take a little bit too long to get involved in combat there, though. But we did nicely split you their army. I want to take this place to the port. Internally, I may not be wanting to take places. Okay, the Empire does seem to be struggling, which is good. It's what we wanted. They are still throwing out a lot of armies, though, which is to be expected. You know, they are weak, but they're not useless. I would actually like... I'm going to try and confederate Kar Karadran again. Uh, the Slayer King. Because getting that him into my forces would be good, and having an army from there, you know, it's a good little settlement there. Um, and it would be a good place to, to launch some invasions, up to some pressure into the Empire at least. See, I suspect the Dark Elves are about to do what I'm doing and launch an invasion as well. Ooh, have they lost somewhere there? The Hales have lost some territory there. Are they at war with some of the lizard men as well? The high elves may have bitten off far more they can chew if they are at war with the lizard men as well. Which is good as far as I'm concerned. The more pressure against them, the better. The easier it's going to be for me to colonise the north and then pressure in. I, I would love to take Lothan, but getting Lothan by the time we complete this campaign is probably too much to ask. Hmm... Oh, and there's a dwarf force I'm at a war with. Because some of the dwarfs were allied with the Empire. Hmm. Oh, and they actually moved support forces to support me. Right, we'll see if they'll actually help us in the battle. Um, I don't know how much siege equipment I've got there. I think I've probably got six towers, which is probably enough. Ooh, 
If I have a little force raiding behind my lines, that's not really a threat, to be fair. I think I want a wall there. Lord of Clan Morgrim. Hmm, do I hit them straight away? That's the real question. Place for the weak. How much will they pay me? Never. Nope. Armed and ready. Can I help you? By the force, father. Ooh, that's a little tougher than I was expecting. For Karaz and Kor. You have done well to make it this far. Speak. Yo, I'm going to throw them a peace treaty now, guys. I've got what I wanted from there. Um, you can return to here next turn and bring here in order and we'll build, build up a garrison and then we'll get you down to the High Elves. Hmm. How are we doing over here? By the Gamma's Cron. Oh wow, that becomes an auto resolve. What? And then I lost two units. Now shall it consume last leader. But that'll do. And let's uh, remove corruption, guys. I think we need that. Um, ooh, I could recruit some slayers. My anger burns bright. To replace those units. I'll cast the runes. Taking a single unit of these rangers. Which seems a little annoying. Um, that's not. Get two units of giant slayers in here to replace what we lost. Um, as we are buffing them up now. Extra. Ammo is always good. We're potentially going to need to hold here for a while. I kind of wish there was a building chain. I know in some places there's a building chain. You know, down here there's a building chain for the southern realms to bring here. And make here a friendly territory. I kind of wish there was an equivalent to that up here. Oh, I've got a grudge against him. That's not going to be difficult. They have to attack now. I say I was sure I had. I've got an army to move somewhere. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. Summon me if you Okay. Now I probably should have fought the Battle of Skaven Blight, but with that many enemies, I mean what I could have actually done is just um let the humans attack it and it and sat back. But that would have been a bit cheaty. The Empire has lost some more territory there. That said they are pushing forwards again. Um but no, we've done what we needed here. The Empire is massively reduced. I'm going to double time a bit. Um, but basically, we've, we've reduced the Empire's um, power here massively, which is what I really wanted to do. Um, made them less of a threat. Um, the High Elves appear to be making themselves less of a threat on their own, to be fair. Um, I really shouldn't be hitting the Shrine of Cain, but because it's not the best territory for us, but it's also the most logical start position for our invasion. Um, 
because otherwise I have to sail around and it gives them a very quick easy way up. It's a good way, you know, that territory is a good way of blocking their way of getting out. It will also help my allies here. Well, not my allies, but it will help Yvres there because it will mean they'll have one less obvious line of attack and they'll potentially, if I don't take there, they'll take there. And then I can block up all of the gates. I mean, what I could really do is, what I'm probably going to look at doing is working my way around and blocking the elves into their inside, then taking Lothan and then, then working my way inside. But I don't know, don't think we're going to get time to do that this time, this in this campaign, unless I can continue this afterwards. I need the public order. This is where it's going to turn out they've got a humongous army here or something. Strike. I think I've got this. That removes the grudge, gets me some more oath gold. What can I actually get at the moment? Ooh. <laughs> Minus speed. It's not bad. It's not bad either. Um, though I think the weapon is probably going to be the best one for us. Especially as it's an anti-elf weapon, guys. <laughs> so yes, uh, Cromson is getting elf bane. For his invasion of the elves. Oh, he's actually already got his own. That's actually better. So we'll give it to one of his to his fane instead. Give him some other abilities because we don't have any. Um, there we go. So his his uh, fane now has elf bane. Um, we're holding with my other armies just for now while we get those places in order, but they will start sailing. So they will start moving soon. Um, I do need to start spending some money because I've not been um, income wise. We're actually quite good here. We're quite well off. Um, so yes, I think things are about to go very well. Oh damn, I forgot to try and confederate them again. What's really annoying is they're going to end up getting confederated by the dwarves at a point where I would have probably been able to confederate them. I'll tell you what, um, Kislev has done quite well, well there because he's got a gold mine down in Drakenhof, which will do very well for them as well. Um... And actually, you know, that area is going to be quite a good one for it to push against the Empire. If it can link up, if it can catch Essen here. Because it's already got the north. Oh, no, it doesn't. Um, I don't think... I think they are, you know, nice powers. As I said, the Empire, the issue the Empire has at the moment isn't that it's not powerful enough to deal with its wars. It's that it's got too many wars going on. It's at war on every front, basically. Because it's all of these guys, all of it. There, maybe not quite. But that said, it's lost territory there. It's definitely at war with some guys down here. Um, and that's just not good for it. Because it means, it, while it's powerful, it's got to spread its forces to deal with them. You bastards. Walls there. It's time to abandon here, though. Vengeful, Lord. 
heading straight down here because we are going to get attacked straight away. I'm not calling off my invasion of here, however. This is a grudge. And it's not a grudge, but it's a grudge for me. some slayers in. Um, we need two turn units here. While we get that other army to bear, brought to bear. How are we doing up here? How are we doing here? Can I start sending this army straight over? Yes. Bloody elves. Start with what else can we build over here? Okay. Oh, I should have gone for cleanse corruption. Cause we're gonna have to hold in here for a while to bring this place. To, to sort this place out. Um, realistically, I need to drop these and get other buildings as well. God damn, Dark Elves, High Elves, all the same. And I forgot about my confederation again. Ha! <laughs> Not really paying attention to what's going on with the war against the Empire. Um, I can see well enough from the bat what's happening to them. Um, I think that was the right move at that time, because if I hadn't, they'd have just picked a single war at a time and slowly whittled away at my allies. And I'd have been brought in in an individual basis rather than bringing all of my allies in at once. So by going to war with them this way, I'm able to bring everything to bear against them. Yeah, I managed to bring the entirety of the North against them. Um, whereas if I'd actually joined the little war with Hockland they had, it would have just been me. Um, I may or may not have been able to bring everybody else in. Hmm... Um, Hotex Column's got a reasonable garrison, so it shouldn't be too bad. Certainly if I can get this army in. It's a shame this army's down here, but this is a, a point of pride down here. So, um, and again, if I lose these colonies, that's not the end of the world. It would be annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Master of Runecraft. Very ultra aggressive army uh, uh, army there, which I'm building up. Out. Yeah, corruption removal and walls. to build some recruitment buildings. It's too late to worry about that now. Let us begin. Ho, ho, ho. Tiny elven garrison there. There's a big elven force. Even that's not that powerful. I am Tyrion. Champion of the Ever Queen. Uh, and they wouldn't accept a peace treaty, not that I'm necessarily going to offer it to them. So yeah, they are they are riven with war as well, and they're potentially their north is split 
from their, their south. So what happens when you go to war with me? Ooh, and we're up here now. Um, that makes them very good, actually. Um, that's... That's good. But that's better. A top level, certainly. Wow, that's very good. Buffs all infantry, all weapons, and speed for everything in the army. I wish I'd seen that one earlier. Oh yeah, let's buff our research rate. I forgot to do it again, guys, didn't I? Let's once again just double time for everything else which is happening. The Empire did manage to hold them off at Essen, but at great cost. That I don't know if... I think they may have won the battle, but just sacked the town. The um, AI does do a lot more than us, than, than people, I think. Um, and sometimes I think they, they, they are not strategically that sensible. Oh, there comes the siege and they're bringing more forces down. Even if we lose here, we won't lose the next battle. We'll be able to retake it. The real danger here is that they will overwhelm me because obviously they're their home ground it's not mine for me to reinforce takes a lot longer um i should have expected that once the uh high elf, you know once i was didn't have a gar large garrison there and i kind of did but my aim to hit the high elves was uh clouded my judgment the grudge clouded my judgment which is a very dowie thing actually guys you know that's very much how the dowie would play it's like damn the colonies we've got a grudge to fight and then they'd get a grudge for losing their colonies Right, first things first. My kin, the throng of Kadri welcomes you. Oh, worth a try. Won't happen. Belica, Technically. All here are honored dwarf kin. If this works. No! Anat, I am Iron Fist. Some call me a king. You are welcome here. Never. However, I am going to throw them a load of money just, just, just to make them really happy. So at some point we can potentially get sure that in the future. So I would love to have them as a little, little colony down there. Come on, Lord of Clan Morgan. See, they can't afford to attack then next turn. And you're going to start double timing over. Ulfar's point is definitely the best place to start for them to head straight to. Uh, hmm. What? No. Let's hit them. Hmm. Let's do this. Can overrun a little bit because of this battle, but I, I want to make these elves pay. Um, they're probably my biggest worry. These two units here, they're not a worry. Obviously, they do have a lot of archers, which will constantly pepper me. But the thing to remember is 
they don't have armor piercing and I have a lot of armor. Now, I do have these units which don't have armor. What we'll do is we'll try and bring them up through the forest. Yes. And in fact, we're going to try and use this forest to our advantage. You can sit with the main line, you can sit with them, and you can hold that flank. For the High King, Iron Breakers, Kazook! Quarrelers! Yes, yes! Let's move forwards. They're waiting for me. They do have quite a bit of magic in this army, but again, that magic's not a huge worry for me. Oh, they saw me as I was moving. Ooh. Can they literally just see him? Right, let's move. How did just him get revealed there? We want to close on the elves as quickly as we can because they're all their bloody archers. Straight forwards, guys. Get that charge on. Hit that birdie. And then let's hit that birdie first. Right, let's move forward and start dealing with their archers because they are going to hurt us. While I've got armor, a lot of armor, they will still hurt. Slam into them here. Let's hit that one. You can slam into them. You can form a nice little shield wall there to try and stop them shooting us. I know they may just picking on me back there, but I'm not really that fussed by that. There we go. Let's hammer into them. No, let's hit this guy next. Oh no, let's hit those calf behind us. Oh, this unit is holding its line. Let's swap. Oh god, my fane's gone. This is not going quite as well as I'd hoped. This flank has done scarily well. Let's hit them hard. Slam over into these guys now. You guys can keep chasing that. Oh no, you guys can stay there. I'm going to send some troops down there. Cromson can get his butt involved here. He gets Tyrion. Pick up 
God damn Loth and Seaguard. They are taking losses, but they are doing very nicely. unit next. This one should go down a bit quicker. As you can see, because it doesn't have any d sort of defense. And that's the master out. Ooh, that was a bit more brutal than I was expecting, to be fair. Is Tyrion down? No, we want Tyrion to die. If we can take him down, that's a really good thing. We won. Um, I lost my runesmith, though, which I'm a bit annoyed by. Um, that is... I mean, imagine if they had armor-piercing archers. I mean, we just stood and took a lot of those arrows, guys. Um... Yeah. Um, I mean, 161 for 556 is a fair exchange, but don't forget they can also bring more armies my way. Now, ideally, we want to chase them down and finish them. I can't believe I lost my runesmith. I lost sight of them, and he just went. He went down fast. To be fair, um, we'll 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 re you know we'll get get somebody to replace him in fairly quickly. Um, as I said, this army is still in a position where it could fight another similar battle. I would lose a couple of units, but we we could re you know we could keep going at this point. So, mm. kill them all. Where did he vanish to? Did I actually Dark finish his army off? Um, no, I won't grow fair. My axe thirsts for war. Move. On to glory for the ancestors. Hmm. I think we want to go with a little bit of Mr. Resistance here. Anyway, guys, this is where we're going to have to leave this one for now. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Possibly one, maybe two more of this campaign, guys, to before the, before the DLC does hit. I will definitely be taking a pause on it then because I've got a lot of stuff to do. If I can, I will pick this up later if it's still working. Otherwise, I may not. But well, as I said, I'm going to try and get a couple more done before the DLC does hit. And you'll probably be getting them for a couple of weeks afterwards. Anyway... Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you do enjoy this.